and what's that going to accomplish? All right, good evening, everybody. I'll call the meeting to order. Meeting of the Carver Select Board for Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. This meeting is being cablecast by Area 58 Community Access Media, Channel 15, and will be posted by Area 58 on YouTube as soon as possible. There are openings on several committees. Please refer to the front page on our website for a listing and application. If we could all stand for the pledge. <coughs> Mr. Cotter, if you could read our community prayer. Certainly. Almighty God, humbly we pray your blessing as we concern our life with the opportunity to serve our community. Enhance us with your spirit of dignity and selflessness. May we become instruments of support and understanding as we seek to bring an environment of trust and purpose among all who provide the many services that make us all that we can become. Help us achieve the goals of our commitment in this office that is now our responsibility. And especially we lift our prayers for all the citizens of, of our community that we have been allowed to serve, that they may discover the fullness and joy of life that we all seek. And keep those serving in our armed forces and our first responders in our hearts and prayers. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Carter. All right. The first item this evening, as always, is citizens' participation. Are there any members of the public who would like to address the board this evening? Seeing none, we will move on to our 610 agenda item, authorization for planning director to enter into electricity aggregation agreement on behalf of the town. Mr. Bott? Chairman. Thank you for having me, members of the board. I'm Tom Bott. I'm the town planner here in Carver, Mass. Uh, and I'm here briefly to talk a bit about the uh, municipal aggregation. Um, so what electrical aggregation is, is this is where we and 25 other towns buy electricity together. Uh, this is the, I think the second round of this for Carver. Uh, currently on our website, if this works out the way, I, look at that almost as if I practice this. Uh, currently on the town's website is the information about the municipal aggregation uh, that we're currently uh, operating under. So the utilities buy electricity twice a year. Uh, so they have a winter rate and a January rate, and the rates change every six months. Through municipal aggregation, we partner with other communities to go out to the marketplace and buy electricity for a longer period of time. Uh, so what that does is it decreases the volatility in electrical rates. Uh, and while there's no guarantees of savings, uh, people can opt in and opt out of the program uh, as, uh, as, as they see fit with no penalty and no cost. Uh, currently, um, according to our web the website, uh, the town is paying a rate of 10, uh, 10.47 cents per kilowatt hour in comparison to what Eversource is charging right now at 25.76 uh, cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So as you can see under the current agreement, uh, it's considerably less. Uh, and while it may be less uh, and, and likely won't, we, we likely won't uh, buy it if it's more, uh, it locks in this rate for a period of uh, a year to three years. So what we're in the midst of right now is we have a pre-bid meeting on the 25th of April, and that's to look at indicative pricing. What's the marketplace look like? On the second is bid day, and that's why I'm here today, because on bid day, over the course of three hours, uh, we and the other 24 towns will be looking at the electricity rates and making a decision as to whether to opt in for uh, another round of, with municipal aggregation. Because we're buying on the marketplace, there's a three-hour window. So you can't bring it back to a board or a committee to have a vote on that. You essentially, and, and this is the way most towns have done it, is authorize that person uh, to do uh, this uh, bid and to sign that contract. Uh, Mr. Fennessy and I have both been through this before with Kingston. We set up the initial uh, municipal aggregation in Kingston. Uh, and in this case, we're not setting it up from day one. We're just renewing the, uh, the contract amount. The rates that we have currently are effective through um, December of 2023. Uh, so this is the time now to take a look at uh, making that purchase 
and uh, uh, deciding uh, what we want to do uh, for the future. Uh, and happy to take any questions you might have. All right. Are there questions for Mr. Bott? Well, yes. Um, so you're saying right now that the rate is ten dollars and forty-seven cents per kilowatt hour. Ten cents. I mean, cents. Yeah, ten point four seven cents per kilowatt hour. That goes until the end of December, December two thousand twenty-three. So what you're entering into, what you're looking at now, is to go January one, two thousand twenty-four further. Well, yes, we'll be extending that period, and what that period is is uh, sort of the discussion that we'll be having. Are we going to ex are we going to buy another? rate for a year or three years depending upon uh you know what that rate is and what we see the market trend going and for the most part uh as you've heard uh, uh the eversource is not dropping its rates uh they've asked for extensions to cover uh, some of the cost and there's been some pushback on that as well so uh, in this case we'd be looking at that and it depends on you know, the discussions that the group has uh on what the rate is and what that term is so conceivably, we could do an 18-month rate. We could do a 24-month a, a lock, uh, depending upon uh, you know what those market conditions are. But but your feeling is this aggregate rate will be much better than what the open market will be charging. Um, well, it is the open market. Well, the what the what the electric company will be charging. Yes, because what the the, the unfortunate thing that the electric company has to deal with is they go out to date on a certain date and time every year. And so the market sort of prepares for, oh, here comes Eversource to the market. So uh, uh, this, is the, this is their very limited window to buy into those. With the municipal aggregation, we've got a longer period of time, and we're not buying necessarily in those peak periods of time. And that's why we're having those discussions here as the seasons start to change from spring to summer. Uh, so it, it, we're just more nimble than the uh, – and, and, and it's unusual for a town to be nimble, by the way. Uh, so mm. through the municipal aggregation, uh, you know, we have that, uh, they have that ability. One, one last question. Okay. What is, is there any benefit for the town not being in this? Well, uh, every resident of the town can opt out. So if we make a buy uh, prior to, uh, uh, to, to making that official, postcards and things, information will go out to everybody in Carver to say, you know, here's what our new rate is. If you don't like it, you can opt out. Uh, and you can pay the going rate that Eversource has. And at this point, what did we see? It was, uh, and that's you know subject to change as well. Uh, you can either pay the twenty-five seven seven six cents per kilowatt hour that Eversource is charging, or some other rate, or you could go with another vendor. And typically, when they look at these things, they also have components of you can buy more of your electricity uh, from uh, green sources uh, versus uh, you know the, the, the typical sources you would see in the portfolio of, uh, of utility. I don't have the details on what, what those are at this point. Uh, but uh, everybody in Carver would be opted into it automatically, and folks would opt out of it if they didn't want to be into it. And if the sort of situation was that we bought a rate at, I'm going to make up a number, 19, uh, and all of a sudden Eversource dropped their rates to 18, everybody in the town of Carver could say, I'm out, and go back to the Eversource rate. And you can opt in and opt out at your will, no penalty. No extra charge. Great, thank you. Anything else, Mr. Mr. Chair? Um, I could be wrong, but I think this is the third time we've done it. Um, I think the first, well, the first time I think Mr. Clark was chair, and the second time you and I when did I, it, and I, when I was chair, and and as you emphasize, the the benefit of this is that the rates locked in, it, and Eversource goes up and down depending on you know the season. Well, twice a year. Yeah, twice a year, and it's a huge difference now. Back then, Eversource's rate was 11 cents and change when we, in 2020. But even then, we thought this was a much better, the 10 cents was much, much better if you, if you add it up. Yeah, and, and, and it, it gets rid of that volatility. Yeah. For people's budgeting purposes, right. they know that for this term, maybe it's 24 months, that this is what my electrical rate is going to be. Right. So you don't have that swing in the marketplace from spring to fall, uh, from uh, winter to summer. Right. right. And the other thing is the, the notes, everyone in the mail gets a mail, a card, uh, being able to opt out. And there, I know there were some people who were with different companies, so obviously they would opt out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, people aren't required to do this. No, there's really little downside to it yeah, because it really people is. can opt in and opt out as they as yeah, they it, choose. It, it makes people very suspicious when there's not a perceived downside. 
uh, but uh, you can opt in, you can opt out, uh, you get to maintain a, a certain rate over a period of time. Uh, and that's just the, the mechanisms of the marketplace that Massachusetts General have created this uh, opportunity for municipalities. And I said in this case, we've got 25 towns that are in our group, in our bidding group. Right. Question. How can people opt in and out? They get the postcard, they're in, they opt out. A year from now, decide you want to opt in. How do you do that? Uh, you, do you, go to our, you can go to our website. Just the Carver website? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you know, we have we'll have the contact information on there. Yeah, you right. you automatically in. Right. So to opt out, you have to send the card in. Right. Oh, but okay. in a year, if you change your mind, you want to get back in. Yeah, you go up there. To You're the going to yeah. get a ton of phone so calls. So here's our yeah. here, here, here's our here's our Carver website, uh, yeah. and the, the the links are in there to to opt in to opt out. Yeah, it's really very easy. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, so one of the question was, um, you said the pre-bid date uh, pre is April 25th? Correct. And, and what's the bid day? When's uh, that? Bid day is May 2nd. So you have to have this vote tonight in order to go to the pre-bid. Is that what it is? Uh, well, I, I can go to the pre-bid without it, but I can't go to the bid without it. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. Anything else? All right. Is there a motion? I, I move that we authorize the planning director to enter into the electricity aggregation, um, community electricity aggregation agreement on behalf of the town of Carver. Second that. We have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Bott. Thank you very much. Appreciate much. it. All right. Next on our agenda this evening is the nomination of the Old Colony Elder Services Board of Director for Carver, uh, Connie Kelly is serve, currently serving in that capacity, and Ms. Weston, we've contacted her. She would like to continue, correct? Yes. Yep. All right. Um, so is there a motion here? I'd like to nominate Connie Kelly for the position of Old Colony, Colony Elder Services uh, Board of Director for Carver. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second discussion. I just wanted to add that I think typically we have nominated the um, COA director for this position. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous, thank you. Uh, let's see, minutes, licenses, topics not reasonably anticipated by the chair, 48 hours in advance of the meeting. We have the minutes of March 28th. Motion to approve the minutes of March 28th. Second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you. We have the minutes of April 4th. All right. I make a motion to approve the minutes of April 4th with the one amendment that I passed out, replacing a paragraph on, on page 4 with the paragraph that I passed out. I'll second right. that. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you. And finally, we have the minutes of April 11th, 2023. Make a motion to approve the minutes of April 11th, 2023. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. I wasn't there, so I have to. Right. Myself. Thank you. That's why I didn't second it. <laughs> Four to zero. Thank you, and let's see. Finally, we have the executive session minutes of March 28th, uh, approval and release. Is there a motion? Make, make a motion to approve the executive session minutes of 328-23 for release to the public. Second that. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. It is unanimous. Thank you. We have a request to use town property. Uh, Captain Powell Preschool is requesting the use of Shirtliff Park for May 26, 2023 from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Motion to approve the request to use Shirtliff Park by Captain Powell Preschool on May 26, 2023 from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Second that. Right. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. And finally, we have uh, select board announcements. Mr. Hoffman. Okay, I have a couple. First, I want to um, say what a great event, Shane. Uh, the bingo for Shane 
McColgan was the other day. It was a great turnout, um, and I know they raised a lot of money, so I want to thank everybody for coming to that. Um, remind everybody that elections are this Saturday, so uh, please get out and vote. And last but not least, we can officially say thank you to Jen for being on the board for this past three years, and also I got to share some time with her on planning board as well, so yeah. appreciate the time we served together, and uh, hopefully you'll just take a year off and come back in some form. A year? <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple of months. But uh, no, seriously, we uh, appreciated. it. You know, personally, I did. I learned a lot, and uh, it's always good to have different views, and we all didn't always get along, all of us, but we all came to great conclusions. So and I think that's what we need to uh, for the town to look at. We don't always have to agree on things, but we do come to conclusions, and we get things done that way. So thank you. I appreciate Thank you. You've been a right. good friend on it. All right. Ms. Jones? Um, I'd like to echo that, Ms. Bogart. And I also want to um, remind people, not, not only is the town election this Saturday, uh, April 22nd, but it's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is a little bit different. Usually our elections are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So um, please note that on your calendar. Elections are over at 5 p.m. this Saturday. And please vote. Every vote counts. Thank you. Mr. Carter. Uh, I just want to re reiterate, thank you, Jen, for the past year that I've worked with you on the, bit, on the committee. Um, in that short amount of time, I, I can see you're very passionate about the issues you believe in, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Good word. <laughs> All right. Ms. Bogart. I said enough last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I just want to reiterate everything that's been said. Uh, my wife and I had an opportunity to uh, attend the, the Shane Gives Thanks bingo event uh, last weekend, and it was... It was a tremendous event, huh? The, the line to get in was amazing. So uh, congratulations to them. Thank you to everyone that attended. Please don't forget to vote this Saturday. It is important. And Jen, once again, thank you for all your service to the town. We, we appreciate it. All right. Is, our next meeting will be on uh, May 2nd. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. Discussion. Hearing on. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you, Area 58.